assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video and if this is your first time of checking out my channel welcome to my channel my name is balikis and on this channel i help people to diy their modest outfits jobs jabs magazine advices buyers and things like that and if that's the kind of content you're looking for do we also subscribe to my channel and don't forget to tap the notification bell to be notified when i post a new video so today's tutorial is on how to make this instant hijab with gofo. So without further ado, I'm just going to dive right into the video. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be working with gesso fabric and it's kind of like a stretchy fabric. So I'm using one yard or one meter of it. And then I have my chalk, my scissors, my straight tool and then my table. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to fold my fabric into two. And I'm going to take the measurement I have there. So I need about 22 inches or 55 centimeter at that point. Then I'm going to take 30 inches or 80 centimeter. So basically, I just want to cut out from this fabric 30 inches by 22 inches. And we should note that my fabric is in fold. So I'm just going to take my 30 inches and I'm going to mark to the other edge of the fabric. So after marking to the other edge of the fabric, I'm just going to connect all the points together and then I'm going to cut out. So after cutting out, we're going to have this. So I'm just going to start working on this piece. So this is about 22 inches by 30 inches or 55 centimeter by 80 centimeter. So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to come to that edge and then I'm going to mark nine inches or 23 centimeter. And then from that same point, I'm going to come down by 12 inches or 30 centimeter. So I'm just going to connect the two points together. And then I'm just using my ruler to make sure I have a straight line. And also making the line more prominent. So from that point, I'm just going to make a diagonal line to the last edge of the front space. So I'm just connecting to the last edge of the front piece. And from that same point, I'm going to make a curve line to the last edge of the back piece. And this totally depends on you. It depends on how wide you want it to be. So I'm just going to use my free hand to just make a curve. And then I'm just going over that curve to make it more prominent. So this is what we should have when we are done. So I'll just go ahead and cut it out. So I'll cut the curved parts. And then I'm going to cut the diagonal line. So after cutting, we'll have something like this. So for my remaining fabric, I'm going to cut out the hijab cap. And then I'm going to notch that midpoint. So for my hijab cap, I'm just going to be using this piece. I'm, I folded it into two and then I'm going to fold it into four. Then for my hijab cap length, I'm going for 10 inches. which is my head circumference divided by two. And then for the width, I'm going for four inches or 10 centimeters. So I'll just connect the 
two points and then I'm going to cut out my jab cap. So after cutting out my jab cap, I'm going to notch the midpoints. So the next thing is just to join the jab cap to the jab piece now. So to do that, I'm going to open up my jab piece and then the right side is facing me. So I'm just going to place the jab cap there. Notch parts facing each other. So I'll just go ahead and stitch it. So I'm done with that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch the front piece of my jab. So that's the front piece. I'll just go ahead and stitch there. So I'm done joining the front piece. So this is my mini fabric. So I'm going to cut out my ruffle from this. So what I did is I folded the fabric into two. And on the folded edge there, for the length, I have about 14.5 inches or 37 centimeter for the length there. And then for the breadth, I have about 12 inches or 30 centimeter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark 7.5 inches at that point. And then from that 7.5 inches, I'm going to mark 4 inches all around to create kind of like a semicircle. So after connecting all the points, we should have a half circle like this. So from there, I'm just going to start inserting my fillet measurements. So I started from 3.5 inches. I just changed my chalk to something more visible. So I started from 3.5 inches and then to 4 inches. Then I'm going to take 4.5 and then 5 inches. Then 5.5. So I'll just continue that way till I get to the other edge that have 7 inches. So I'm taking 6 inches there, then 6.5 inches, and then to the last edge. So I'll just go ahead and connect all the points together to get my flounce and then I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut out the semicircle part also. So we should have something like this after cutting it. I'm just going to join the sides, the larger parts. So after joining, I'm going to open up my jar piece, the front part of it. And then I'm going to place my flounce on it, right side facing each other. So I'll just go ahead and stitch it together. I 
after stitching we should have something like this so the final thing we're just going to do is to take this over to our sewing machine and then hem all the edges so i'll just go ahead and hem all the edges and then overlock the inside of the jab So this is the final outlook of today's tutorial and I hope you find it very helpful and if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have anything you want me to make a tutorial on you can drop it in the comment section or send a clear picture of it to me on IG at modest underscore balikis. So thank you for watching today and I will see you in the next tutorial inshallah. Asalaamu